Around the world, there's growing awareness of the role that carbon dioxide from industry plays in global warming. Since 2005, the European Union has run the emissions trading scheme, getting energy suppliers and airlines to pay for the right to pollute by buying carbon permits. There's now a huge European market in these permits, where firms who don't produce as much CO2 as their permits allow can sell the unused permits, as this video explains. Companies then buy and sell emissions allowances through the carbon market, each equivalent to one tonne of CO2. The genius, the cost effectiveness behind it, is if it costs um, factory A, I don't know, 300 euros a tonne to emit, but it costs factory B 20 euros a tonne to emit, then factory B is incentivized to, to do a lot more emissions reductions and sell that to the factory that, where it costs more. But the economic crisis has seen a decline in industrial activity. With less CO2 being produced, demand for carbon permits has plunged. So in turn has their price, effectively making it cheaper to carry on polluting rather than invest in green technologies. Now the EU is set to take nearly a billion permits off the market. The price of the so-called permits to pollute, traded in the City of London and other European financial centres, has slumped from $27 to just $6. By reducing the number of permits, the aim is to boost that price back up to around $11 by the end of next year. And that, so the theory goes, gives Brussels time to make much needed changes to the system. Some experts want a regulatory body controlling the price of carbon permits, much like governments control money supply. But environmental campaigners say the EU needs a wider rethink if it's to meet its targets for cutting CO2 emissions beyond 2020. Either make sure that you can guarantee to European citizens that this scheme is going to reduce climate pollution in the way it was designed or you argued it was designed to do, or we want something else. In the UK we've just um, uh, seen a piece of legislation passed that would put a limit on the amount of carbon emissions from power stations. Similar approach being taken in the United States. So there are alternatives. China has recently launched five emissions trading schemes. Whether other parts of the world go down the same road could depend on whether the EU shows it's serious about making its own scheme work. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.